all right so what's the big deal with the arc search or the arc browser that is being hyped up about i've been using the application ever since it launched and have been trying to replace my actual browsing sessions with this and here's what i feel about it. so the browser company actually put out the arc browser a couple of weeks ago and supposedly it's the replacement of chrome which makes your search engine browsing and everything simplified but what they're trying to achieve here is putting together search engine the internet and ai together and make it all easier for you or compile them with just one prompt. For instance, if you're going to look up for a video on YouTube specifically, you just go ahead and type it within the Arc browser and it does the job for you and searches it on YouTube or other links and get this video and we'll put it in a customized web page for you. However, on the mobile application, what it does uniquely is to put up a question, it goes through at least six different websites, gathers all the information and creates a personalized website for you with all of it in one single scroll and also links to those sites from where it acquired. Now that's a complete game changer because see i'm not a very you know browsing type of a person but i definitely always go up to google or try and search stuff every now and then for even small or tiny things but the hassle to go through each link and trying to find appropriate content is solved with this browser and also the best part is if you're going into any links there's no ads like literally no ads anything that you see in between sites where they just pop up hugely you'll not see them with this and it's completely free so i really would encourage you to try this out it makes things a lot easier and it's it's just so convincing it's the, the animations the haptic feedback that you get when you search on your phone and it's unique capability to actually put content in a folder in your browser on the pc or mac is cool anyways that's it from me see you in the next